the suds. Just south of Indianapolis. We're at suds, driving burgers and fries and root beer. People are having a good time. The sun's shining and you're in the shade and I'm in the sun. At the suds. Driving theater, picnic tables, t-shirts. I'll make a video and take home a good memory. Come to the suds. Greenwood, Indiana, just south of Indianapolis. The Suds Hot Rod Car Club. At the Suds. Lots of hot cars. 69 Camaro Z28 Rally Sport. Fine car. 67 Chevelle SS. 66. 396. 66 Chevelle. Bench seat column shift. Hmm. Big block Chevelle. 66. Good race for that Z28. And the Suds. Bring it in the end. 427 turbojet. It's not turbocharged, but it freaking might as well be. 427, 425, romping, stomping horsepower. We're at Suds driving. We got big block Chevelles rolling in. 1971. 66 Corvette Stingray. This guy's owned this car for almost 30 years. Just had a nut and bolt rotisserie restoration done on a big block, original tank sticker car. Chambered side exhaust, original hubcaps, frame markings. Beautiful show quality paint job. What a beautiful 427 gas guzzling macho American muscle car. Does it come any better than that? You could bring this thing home and the missus would say, My, what a nice color. And you'll say, Let's go for a ride. I didn't even crank this baby up. Pop the clutch of 5,000 and all hell will break loose. Lots of GM parts, spring clamps, tower clamps, proper stickers, proper ignition shielding. What a beauty. One day, we'll come back and this guy will crank her up for me and you'll hear what chamber exhaust sounds like. We're at Suds Drive-In. We've got lots of cars here. Let's check out this 57 Chevy. Chevy, 1957 luxury, pointed, tail fins, two-door hardtop. 34,000 miles, 283 power pack with three on the tree. Two-door hardtop, black. That's a big enough trunk you could put your wife and dog in there and who'd be happier when you open the trunk up? I was up? just thinking, how many people did we sneak in the drive-in back yeah. when I was a kid? <laughs> I did that too. I did. I did too. I had a, old, I had a uh, 1956 Desoto. Yeah. And you could lay down. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you could. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Black five owner car. It's 53 years old. Only had five owners. 57 Chevy. Oh, man. I was listening to the radio. They were talking about what was popular back in the late 50s and somebody said that pointy tail fins should go and Elvis Presley would be a big failure. Well, the pointy tail fins are gone, but Presley lived on for 10 more years. 57 Chevrolet two-door sedan. 55 Chevrolet rusty Corvair. Corvair Corsa 65 convertible. Wow. Uh-oh. Telescopic wood wheel. Turbocharged. GTO. Oh, there goes a rusty Chevrolet. It's a 69, one family owner. GTO. It's got Ram Air. It's a convertible. And it was ordered with a bench seat. And what a beauty. Except for a couple of paint jobs, it is original, a survivor. Tilt wheel. Gauge pack, tachometer, and under dash York air conditioning remote control mirror. Survivor, original, GTO, factory exhaust tips. 
What a beauty. Chrome is shining, the paint's glistening. Survivor 69 GTO convertible. Would you mind cranking this baby up? It's here with GTO Ram Air engine sounds. <laughs> Little fuel percolation in the carburetor. Rumble, rumble. What was GM thinking? Oh, does that sound good? You hear what the old lady said? No burnouts. Yeah. I'll distract her. <laughs> yeah. A buddy of mine had a 73 Grand Prix back when I was in high school. At that same rumble. Blah, 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 blah. I remember it very well. well. That's a long time ago. 69 GTO. It's got four T3 headlights. And this baby will run. Look at that Endura front bumper and those red line tires and the correct 14 inch rally wheels. And I cast my gaze over to the Rally 350 and then a Corvette went by. Of all the distractions in the world, I couldn't tell you to turn that thing down. 67 Corvette 427. Boy, talk about a distraction. Anyhow, back to the GTO. In pulls a Rally 350 1970 Cutlass. Monochrome. W. 25 hood on a 350. Old Cutlass S Rally 350. What a serious machine. Factory air, W25 hood, bucket seats, column shift. How crazy is that? Dial for mileage. Seatbelt stowage. What a great car. What a beautiful paint job. Rally 350. The sun's glistening off those rally stripes. The 442 bumper. The exhaust cutouts. Spoiler equipped. Rally 350. That great. What a drag race that would be. Rally 350 versus GTO. The parents own the GTO and the son owns the Rally 350. What a great family, huh? 65 Le Mans. Another beauty. Some people take such great care of their cars. 326 V8. Beautiful. GTO. Ram Air. Rally 350. Boy, what a drag race that would be. Rally 350 and a GTO convertible. Bench seat, column shift, Ram Air. Factory original car. One, almost a one owner car. Just about a one owner car. Ram air convertible. Jeez, this is that thing rumble. Oh, sound of power. Let's see if we can catch up to it. I don't know. Moving pretty fast. Bear with me. Pick up the pace a little bit. F85. Nope, Pontiac Tempest. 55 Chevy. Get to hear it rumble a little bit more. Oh, gee. Right there. 366 underrated horsepower. What a beauty. W31, what a serious cam in this. Window stickered everything. Lots of options. You know, I just got to yell, light them up! Hang on a second, here. Watch my videos. You'll enjoy them. Thank you for coming. What a team. Light them up! <laughs> I wish.
Oh boy. No, oh, too many cops. Gotta be careful. Alright, Monte Carlo. 1971. Buckets and console. No. Bucket seats, column shift. Dance. This. Somewhere there. Where was it? There we go. Count mark. Corvair transmission. Corvair differential. Ford engine. 